What's up folks? Welcome back to the garage. If you have watched my earlier video, you know that I have a new exhaust in my 940 Turbo. It's a Martelius slash JT tuning 3-inch uh, pipe with one racing uh, cat and two um, race mufflers. And uh, I got a lot of comments, especially in my Finnish channel, about the clamps. And um, in two position, I use them. Uh, I didn't use as they should. I I installed them uh, like this. So the ground is here, and there's a there's a problem. Uh, if uh, well, uh, the distance between the clamp and the ground might be lower than putting in it like this or like this, the clamp, and if I hit something, for example a stone or tree stump, it might uh, hit the clamp and it might uh, tear the whole exhaust uh, apart, so there's a problem, but there was a reason why I did that, and in this video I will explain that, and uh, because the, there's a very small gap between, between the floor and the exhaust. It's not as simple as it might, but I think I found a solution for the problem. And in this video, I will uh, tell you more about the clamps and uh, the way that I'm trying to solve my problem. But next, I will show you more. I can use the old exhaust as an example. This clamp is uh, right way. As you can see, it's uh, facing on the on the side, and there's a quite long uh, thread part. So if this could, or, or if this would uh, point down, it would lower the car <coughs> view at least two centimeters. Well, well, it might be lower than the the catalytic converter, but you you understand my point. Uh, and here we can see where it should be. There's the gap, and it's uh, the clamp is located about in the middle of the the gap, and then it can squeeze the uh, pipe around the smaller pipe, which goes inside, and. I'm using the exhaust joiting paste and this will prevent the leaking. So if I put the clamp, you can see there's the there's the gap. So I think this would be the correct place to put the clamp back here. Uh, but next I will show you what was the problem with the new exhaust. There it is. I'm using the, the wood here uh, to show you what I mean. Uh, first I put the clamp like this and uh, you can see that or focus please. Uh, the nut is about about here, uh, it's a little bit above of the edge of the wood. And if I turn this clamp like this, now it hits the floor. So now the lowest point is actually lower than what it was, and I can't turn this anymore. And if I turn it on the, on the other direction, there's the same problem that. So uh, first I was stuck with this and uh, I didn't actually couldn't figure out anything but my friend sent me a message and uh, gave me an idea which should I try. You can see the picture here and uh, because I have the same problem here in the in the front I can't turn the clamp so I had to figure out something. Well, those racing clamps are 
quite expensive and I couldn't get them right away. So I went to local store and find, found these. These are not uh, especially for the exhaust, but I will try these. And if these don't work, I will order the racing style clamps. But I have the paste, so this should be enough. At least what I talked with the, the guy who was selling these, he, he thought that these would be okay, but we will soon see that. It will be very interesting to see what kind of feedback, feedback I get from you and comments of my modification. <laughs> uh, but this is learning by doing channel. Well, uh, this is original clamp from uh, Turbo Volvo and uh, this is what came with the with the setup and as you can see there's a huge difference and uh, this fits without problem this doesn't it's uh, it's so big <laughs> and this what i bought from a local local shop it's not for exhaust so i did a small modification I remove the spring and I put a washer between the nut and the clamp and I cut a little bit from the thread. So now this should be should be okay. And I actually know it's okay because I have installed already one. I will show you. Uh, I still need to do small modification, but I will explain. It's easier to explain when you see so it's it's up there and you can see there's you barely can see there's a there's the gap and there's the end of the uh, rear pipe so the clamp is now just there where it should um, what i will do i will cut little more little bit bit more from the thread well you can see the lowest point is now the the pipe but just in case i will cut uh, about uh, 50 millimeters from the thread so then it should be should be like perfect and there's the original so i think this will be this will be a uh, good uh, and if it doesn't i just need to buy the racing style clamps but i think that will hold I just told you in my Finnish channel that I will do a stream, live stream, here in YouTube about uh, taking this old B20, it was in 945, I will do a stream about when I'm uh, taking it to the, into the parts. Well, the stream will be in, in Finnish, but uh, I can do a, a sum up in some points in that stream also in English. So if you like to join, you are very welcome. I will inform you in this Hans Garage uh, channel when, when the stream is coming out and where. So don't, don't worry. But I have now solved the exhaust clamp problem, at least I think. Well, these are not as heavy duty as the originals, but uh, I will change these if they, they don't uh, work. But I managed to tighten them quite tight and they are just there where they, they should be. There's the, you can see there is the uh, gap there and the edge is there. So it's uh, pushing the exhaust together and there's the paste between. So it will hold and the same thing in the in the front i'm quite happy how this this came out and uh, i i shortened the thread so now the exhaust is much lower what the what the nut so now this should be should be okay and there's uh, one clamp i just had to remove a little bit but after that it should be okay Oh yes, now all the clamps are okay, all, and now it just need uh, heavy driving. <laughs> I think I will take this car uh, to work tomorrow. I have a garage in the city center and it will be nice to 
give some trouble in inside the garage. <laughs> it's uh, it's more like a parking a parking hall or parking well not a cave but almost cave. Roof is quite low and I think the acoustic will be perfect for some uh, exhaust noises. <laughs> well, job done. Uh, thank you for your comments. I appreciate them a lot because, well, I'm 50, almost 50 years old and I have been working with the cars quite many years, but I'm not a, a certified mechanic and I do a lot of mistakes, a lot. So it's uh, nice to uh, learn new things from your advices. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, comments down below, that would be a great. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, now it's a perfect time to do that. And also ring the bell. Thanks for watching. See you soon.